Get on me, Harlan. In what me yet them, quant and will Only me, when you did me on the night. But me, but in the cold light, I live to love and adore you. It's all that I have. It's all that have in the cold light I live I only live for you it's all that I am it's all that I have mm, not that one Sorry I haven't made videos in a while. Also, sorry that I'm not wearing a shirt, but it's about 100 degrees. I've just walked like five miles, and I want to show off my cool scarf. Three good reasons, so that's why I don't have a shirt. Anyway, I haven't made a video in the last few days, and it's got me thinking. You know, I've had a little bit of time to kind of step back and think about life. Is that too deep? What does every single human being have in common? If you ask somebody what they want to do with their life, they might say they want to be a doctor, or a lawyer, or a football player, or a filmmaker, or whatever, right? You keep asking them, why? Why do they want to do that? Why do they want to be this? For what reason? Oh, I want to be a doctor so I can make a good living and help people and feel good about myself. Keep asking why, why, why? And the answer is to be happy. Everyone wants to be happy, right? Am I wrong? If there's somebody out there who doesn't want to be happy, let me know. Happiness is studied just like depression is studied. And what they found out about human happiness is that 50% of your happiness comes from your genetic makeup. It's kind of what you're born with. It's kind of like a set level of happiness. And when something really good or something really bad happens in your life, you're not going to deviate too far from that level of happiness. Only 10% of your happiness comes from your circumstances. You know, your job, how much money you make, where you live, things like that. That makes up only 10%. So, you know, people all the time think that if I just get this job and make this amount of money, I'll be set and I'll be happy. That's what I need to be happy. It's just not true. It only makes up 10%. The final 40% of the happiness puzzle comes from our attitude, our outlook on life. It's completely up to us. Now, I'm not saying everything is perfect and everyone needs to be so happy and overjoyed all the time. I'm just saying, take a step back. How lucky are we to be born human beings? We could have been born an ant or a bumblebee or a squirrel. We're human beings. The chance of us even existing is like one in an infinity. I don't even know what the number is. It's insane that we even exist. Think about all the cool things that humans get to do. I just flew a drone through these woods up to a waterfall. Does a squirrel get to do that? You know, there's a lot of stuff in my life right now that I haven't accomplished. A lot of goals that I have that I'm not even close to achieving. But I'm still really happy right now at this point in my life. And I think a big part of that is because I do a pretty good job of maximizing that 40%, that attitude chunk of the happiness puzzle. I'm pretty proud of it. So do it. Choose to be 40% more happy. And if I can do it, I know that you can do it. Now vlogs are back.